Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lane Bruce, Executive Director of the Mississippi Press Association Education Foundation. And it's my honor on behalf of the men and women who work in print and digital journalism across the state to welcome you to the annual presentation of the Collegiate Better Newspaper Media Contest Awards, held this year, like many other things, in virtual format. At the start of 2020, we could not have foreseen the challenges that our society would face from civil unrest and natural disasters, economic uh, recession, and of course, the greatest public health crisis of our lifetimes. Aside from those challenges, 2020 also served to be a stunning reminder of the power and need for strong journalism, a trade so important to our democracy that the right to practice it is protected in the First Amendment of our Constitution. Whether or not you choose to pursue a career in journalism, the fundamentals we learn by studying it uh, prove invaluable in all walks of life and diverse careers. The importance of seeking truth and asking questions so that we can learn more about the world around us can lead us all to more informed and satisfied lives. If you're interested in a career in journalism, I'm pleased to tell you that the Press Association has programs designed to encourage you and help support your academic endeavors, whether it's supplemental scholarships or the opportunity to take part in a summer internship at a Mississippi newspaper, you can find out more about what we do at mspress.org slash foundation. We hope all of you enjoyed today's awards announcements and we wish you all the very best in your academic and future careers. Now I wanna to introduce to you Stephanie Patton, publisher of the Leland Progress and our MC for today's awards presentation. Stephanie. Thanks Lane and good afternoon and welcome to the MPA Education Foundation Better Newspaper Media Student Division Awards presentation. Like Lane said, I'm your host, Stephanie Patton. I'm ha happy to be here. Seven schools across the state submitted entries into this year's contest, and I know you're all anxious to find out who the winners are. Very soon, MPA will mail plaques to the first place winners and certificates to second and third place winners and care of your program advisors. Now, on with the awards. First category, best general news story for the senior college division. Third place, the reflector, Hannah Blakenship. Second place, the reflector, Hannah Blakenship. And first place, the blue and white flash, Sienna Reeves. Best general news story for the community college division. Third place, the Radionian, Tori Ellis. Second place, the Pine Burr, Bailey Brumfield. And first place, the Chieftain, Donna Thomas and staff. Best sports news story, all colleges. Third place, the blue and white flash, Wakil Latigue. Second place, the student prince, Charlie Luttrell. And first place, the Daily Mississippian, Joshua Clayton. Best sports column, all colleges. Third place, the Radionian, Jonathan Richardson. Second place, the Chieftain, Madison Haley. And first place, the Reflector, Hunter Cloud. Best sports feature, all colleges. Third place, the Reflector, Hunter Cloud. Second place, the Student Prince, Michaela Puckett. And first place, the Student Prince, Charlie Luttrell. For the best general interest news column, Senior College Division, third place, the Reflector, Riley Stevens. Second place, the Reflector, Michael Bourgeau. And first place, the Reflector, John Haynes. Best General Interest Column for Community College, third place, the Radionian, Kyra Lipton. Second place, the Radionian, Corey Blue. And first place, the Chieftain, Samantha McNamara. Best Feature Story, Senior College. Third place, the Reflector, Daniel Dye. Second place, the Student Prince, Brian Winters. And first place, the Daily Mississippian, Will Carpenter. For best feature story in the Community College Division, third place, the Radionian, Jordan Butler. Second place, the Chieftain, Donna Thomas and staff. And first place, the Chieftain, Donna Thomas. Best cartoon, all colleges. Third place, the Reflector, Savannah Bonds. Second place, the Blue and White Flash, Ivory Lowe. And first place, the Daily Mississippian, Nakia Jordan. Best General News Photo Division, Senior College. Third place, The Reflector, Mary Georgia Hamilton. Second place, The Daily Mississippian, Billy Sherman. And first place, The Daily Mississippian, Billy Sherman. For the Community College Division, third place, The Radionian, Daniel Windham. Second place, The Radionian, Hunter Heath. And first place, The Chieftain, C.J. Adams. For Best Sports Photo, Senior College Division, third place, the Reflector, Jordan Smith. Second place, the Student Prince, Blair Ballou. 
and first place, the reflector, Mary Georgia Hamilton. For best sports photo, Community College Division, third place, the Chieftain, Lee Adams and staff. Second place, the Chieftain, Lee Adams, and first place, the Radionian, Reagan Buckley. For best feature photo division, Senior College, third place, the blue and white flash, Kaylin Norman. Second place, the reflector, Gracie Bell. And first place, the reflector, Mary Georgia Hamilton. Best feature photo for a community college. Third place, the Radionian, Bailey Morris. Second place, the Pine Burr, Bryce Bateman. And first place, the Pine Burr, Bryce Bateman. For best series or investigative news category, all colleges, third place, the reflector. Second place, the Radionian. And first place, the Daily Mississippian, Kenneth Nehmeyer. For best editorials, Senior College Division, third place, the Daily Mississippian, Eliza No, Katie Dames, and John Hadrisco. Second place, the Reflector, and first place, the Blue and White Flash editor and staff. For best editorials, Community College Division, third place, the Pine Burr, Bryce Bateman. Second place, the Chieftain, Catherine Morgan and Corey Yielding, and first place, the Radionian, Jordan Butler and Corey Blue. Best layout and design, Senior College Division, third place, the Reflector. Second place, the Student Prince, and first place, the Daily Mississippian. Best layout and design, Community College, second place, the Pine Burr, and first place, the Chieftain, Donna Thomas. Best front page for Senior College Division, third place, the Blue and White Flash, second place, the Reflector, and first place, the Daily Mississippian. Best front page for the Community College Division, third place, the Chieftain, second place, the Pine Burr, and first place, the Radionian. Best graphic, all colleges, third place, the Reflector, Savannah Bonds, second place, the Student Prince, Aaron Collins, and first place, the Blue and White Flash, Kaylin Norman. For the best use of video, all colleges, third place, Student Prince, Earl Studemeyer, second place, the Reflector, and first place, the Student Prince, Blair Ballou. For the best website, all colleges, third place, the Student Prince, second place, the Radionian, and first place, the Daily Mississippian. Best use of social media, all colleges, third place, the Blue and White Flash, second place, the Reflector, and first place, the Reflector. General excellence for senior college division, Third place, the Blue and White Flash. Second place, the Daily Mississippian. And first place, the Reflector. General Excellence for Community College Division. Third place, the Pine Burr. Second place, the Radionian. And first place, the Chieftain. We wanna thank everyone for participating in the contest and, and we congratulate all the winners. We're proud of all the good work that you do at each of your schools. We wish you the best for the remainder of your school year. Good luck.